I'm Matt with Meat Church. Let's make a delicious hash brown omelet on the brand new Traeger Flat Rock Griddle. Well, if you guys have been followers for Meat Church for a long time, especially on our Instagram, you know that I love to cook breakfast outside. I've said for years, if I could work at Waffle House as a short order cook, that would be a dream job. So this is a breakfast that I've been making for, I guess, most of 2022. Found this recipe on YouTube, uh, True North Cafe, very inspiring video to me. Um, I saw it last year and the concept of a hash brown omelet had never heard of it, so it's not my recipe. Wanted to give credit where credit is due. And I made this, I put it on our Instagram back in the summer and I said, we should do a video on it. And we've just never gotten around to it because we had so many videos, but it to me feels like a backwards omelet. Instead of having eggs with a bunch of stuff in it, it has hash browns with a bunch of stuff in it. It's very filling, very hearty. Um, I personally love it. It's really easy to make. So hopefully you guys uh, will be inspired by this. Uh, go check out True North Cafe, give him a like. Uh, really cool video. So. Here we go. Um, we're also gonna cook this on the brand new Traeger Flat Rock, which I mentioned. Um, it's a really cool new griddle. Got, it's really heavy duty. Got a badass lid. Um, I've already ignited it, so it's, it's nice and warm. Um, you see it's got the same pop and lock rail system that's on the new grill, so I can put lots of accessories on it. And if you love the keg on, uh, on the ironwood and on the timber line with the easy ash clean out here all the grass the grease sorry evacuates into this so it makes cleanup super duper easy but obviously you can cook this on whatever type of griddle you've got and if you don't have a griddle um, you could do this in a big skillet or, or pan or something like that but i think everything tastes better when you cook it outside so let's jump right in this is going to be very simple we're going to start out with some potatoes that i've shredded actually we're going to start out with butter whoops Oil or butter your surface. I'm just going over a medium heat. I do have it current, kind of turned down right now because I've had it on for just a little bit. You can see we're, we're bubbling pretty good, so pretty warm. So get your fat down or oil, whatever it is you want to use. Now we're on to the shredded potatoes. And as I learned from uh, the True North video, you want to cook these hash browns most of the way, like 95% before you move on to the next step. So I'm going to toss them around for a couple minutes, then I'm going to lay them just in a nice square uh, in the shape of uh, just, just a nice rectangle, basically. I like to season my hash browns, season with what you want. I'm going with our holy cow because it's salt, pepper, garlic. I also love our voodoo on this. Okay, I tossed them around just a couple minutes so I can kind of start and get them cooking on all sides because ultimately we're just going to cook these on one side when we, uh, when we flatten them out. All right, so let's get them in a square, nice and even. All right, now let's get some more butter down up here for our veg. At this point, you put what you want in it. I grew up loving a ham and cheese omelet. So I love ham and mine. The video also used ham, but sausage, bacon, things like that uh, would be great. So we're gonna go a little bit of onions. A little bit of peppers. And we've got some ham right here that we just got at our local HEB in the deli. Just cut it really thick. It's already cooked, so you're just heating it back up. Mm 
Let's just give all this just a couple minutes to come together. There's your bits. All right, these are coming along nicely right here. Fine line between burned and char. Char's flavor, so I'm not mad about a little bit of that color. All right, these hash browns are, you know, at least 75, 80% done, so it's time to pour in the eggs. So I've, I've just mixed up six eggs here. Now this is a preference thing, you may not need quite this much, so we're gonna pour it in the middle. A little, little heavy-handed. You wanna spread that out. Now the residual heat from these from these potatoes cooking are gonna cook these eggs, no problem. All right, let's talk about some cheese. So in the video that inspired me, Kraft Singles were used, and that spoke to my my you know poor heart growing up. The cheap cheese, there's something about it. So you can feel free to hop in the comments and say real cheese all you want. I love little singles. Now let's go ahead and get this veg and the ham across here. Now we're just going to divide it up, fold them in half. Ooh, looking mighty fine. All right, that's it. See y'all at the cutting board. That looks delicious. All right, let me get this other one off. Uh, I'm gonna turn the griddle off with this cool off, and honestly, I can't wait to dig in and see how we did. Well, I wish y'all could smell this because it smells awesome. Got all my food groups covered here with my vegetables, so my mom will be happy. By the way, that cooked awesome. Big fan, ton of fun. Let's jump in. Ooh, look at that, cheesy. So I dressed it up with some sour cream. I don't really know where this came from, but my entire life when I order omelets, I always get sour cream. I love going to the donut hole uh, in Destin and at Santa Rosa, there's a couple down there. And every time I get an omelet, I always get sour cream with it. So that's just my thing. Here we go. Guess what? I ain't mad at it. That's really good. This is very filling, by the way, because it's a lot of potato. Uh, I'm a gigantic fan. This is just different. So I'm really glad I stumbled across uh, that video that inspired me to do this because this was a lot of fun. Super good. You should definitely try this. As always, like and subscribe. And hey, I'm not just saying it. Your subscriptions help us bring you these weekly, no shtick, straightforward how-to cooking videos. So get outside this weekend. Get your kids involved. This is awesome. See y'all next time. All right, guys, well, it's been a few days since we shot uh, this video. So this is the part where I look back at the, at the cook and give you guys any thoughts and elaborate, clear up anything, and just kind of tell you how I felt about it. Well, huge fan of the video and the recipe. I cooked it again um, just this past weekend, and it's something my family loves. And I always say, get your kids involved. I said that in the video, so you should definitely do that. Um, I wouldn't have made any changes really to what I did. Uh, I did say one thing that was kind of 
clunky. In the beginning, I said cook the hash brown is 95%, and then in the video, I said these are 75, 80%. I guess my hash brown meter was broken when we went over that part, but you know, that's just a preference thing, so cook them however much you want them. You can eat potatoes raw, so uh, just you know, cook them as crispy as you want. But the flat rock, this thing is built very sturdy. Um, if you know me, especially my friends that know me personally, know that I cook on a griddle nonstop. Hell, I've got a griddle built in my outdoor kitchen. So love them. And this, you know, just the past few years, the way Traeger has been building things from their any new grill with Wi-Fi in it or the Timberline XL or the Ironwood XL, they're very heavy duty. I feel like I could stand um, on these side tables that are on it. So I'm highly impressed with it. By the way, I've learned that they have a five-year warranty, so it's definitely a premium product that I know you guys will dig. So this is the part where you subscribe. Your subscriptions help us do these more and more. Uh, we're committed to weekly how-to, no shtick, as I say, cooking videos just to inspire you to get outside and to cook. So please subscribe for us. Definitely a lot more griddle videos coming. This will go in the griddle playlist. So see y'all next time.